tap in with this man, bro. Stop playing, bro. You're the only one. Hey, Mike, best barber out, bro. No, oh, bro. <laughs> What's good with the YouTube? It's your boy Taper by Mike. As you can tell by the title of the video, we got a high taper tutorial. I'm gonna walk you all the way through it. Now my client already had his guidelines set in. I started recording a little late and he's not taking anything off top. So it's not necessarily a waiver cut. He used to be a waiver, but he growing his hair out. But I'm gonna let y'all see the back taper. Even though I started late and I didn't like the angle, I went ahead and put it on here just to give myself time to explain to y'all my fading methods so you'll understand everything I do why I do it, how I do it, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna walk you through that in this section, then we're gonna slow it down whenever we do both sides of the taper and the edge up. So my main fading method that I go with, I refer to it as a skip fade because I start at the bottom with the ball line. I do the ball line, lever open, remove that line with our lever closed. Then I skip the half guard step and I start fading with my one guard. I fade my one into whatever size is on top. So if he had like an afro, I would use my one coming down with the grain as you see me doing in this video just to create a blend with the one guard and then i go back to the half in order to blend out that middle line as you see me doing right now that's why i call it the skip fade another method that i use is called down fading where i use my biggest guard first so i would come with my one then i would come with my half guard then i would come with my lever open then i would come with lever closed that's fading all the way down and after you do one of those fading methods then you want to come back through and do detail work I always save detail work for the end. That way you know exactly what needs to be touched. If you try to fix it while in the process of doing it, you're going to just spend a lot of time. If you want to save time, do the basis of your fade first, then come back through in detail. That's exactly how I do mine. So as you see right now, I got my babbler's trimmers and I'm coming through and I'm lining up the back taper. I'm going to feed it directly into the high taper lineup that's already, I mean the high taper guideline, my bad. The high taper guideline is already on the side. We're going to make sure that we feed that line directly into it, but we're going to leave a little bit of hair just so it have a nice transition. So as you see me getting the camera closer, I'm going to let y'all see exactly how I do this part. We're going to start at the bottom of the taper. Make sure if your trimmers are zero gap, be very, very, very light handed. You don't want to leave scars. This part of the neck is very sensitive. So like I said, start at the bottom and create like a rainbow effect coming around the ear. And you want to leave a little bit of hair right there where I'm starting at now. You want to make sure you leave a little bit of hair kind of dark so that way it have a nice transition. Because if you fade past this line, it's going to start looking like a burst fade and you don't want it to come past the ear if you're doing a taper because after that, it's a burst fade like I just said. So now we got our rebels with the lever all the way open. We're going to start at the bottom line and bring the lever open to the top of the ear. Keep in mind, leave this section right here dark so that way you have a nice transition. You'll see that at the end. We're gonna come back through, lever open, make sure we get all the hair. Then we're gonna close our lever. Right after putting that lever open in, close your lever and flick that bottom line out. You might as well get it over with now. The reason you wanna do that, because if you wait to the end to do your lever open, I mean your lever closed, you're gonna end up pushing the fade higher than you want it. So go ahead and set this ball section in and then fade around that. So after we set that in, we're gonna come back through with our one guard. We're gonna start right there where we left off at the top of that lever open line. And we're gonna scoop up to the parietal ridge. Um, this is the line that's directly even with the corner of your client's lineup. So with a vertical line of the edge up and the horizontal line meet, you wanna bring the fade to about right there. And like I said, my client did have waves before. So we're not taking none off top, but we are gonna have to debulk that side just to give them a nice fade all the way up. We don't want our fade to stop and have it looking like a chili bowl. So now that we got that one guard in, like I said, it's a skip fade method. So we skip the half guard. Now we're gonna come back through. It's time to get that final section done. It's the half guard. I like to leave this part. Besides it being an easy fading method, I also like to leave this because this is the final part that just bring the whole fade together. You got the bottom half blended, you got the top half blended, and now you just come back through with this and smear it all in. Like, you feel me? Like that's the best part whenever you see your fade being complete. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna hit it with the half guard. Then after that, that's when we're gonna start doing detailed touches. The best way to detail is working your lever. As you see, my thumb twisting and turning each time. And here go another tip whenever it come down to a fade, especially when detailing, always look through your mirror and make sure the fade look exactly how you want it to look through the mirror. 
because your eyes are going to tell you exactly what you wanted to tell you. Your eyes are going to lie to you and make you think the fade is blended. But if you look into the mirror and check on the fade, the mirror will not lie to you. You feel me? I'm going to do a video and show y'all exactly what I mean, how the mirror spot out dark spots that your eyes won't catch until your barber eyes develop. But that's a video for later. But after we got that fade set in, we're going to go ahead and touch that line one more time. I didn't like how it came to a point right there by the ear. So as you see, I'm kind of just working on that. Like I said, I could have kept doing this earlier when I first put the line in, but I always say my detail touches for last because I might not like it then and I could have came back and possibly liked it afterwards. So that's why I do everything at the end. So as you see, it's starting to get more of that rainbow arc um, to it. All right, and here go another tip for you. As you've seen, I lifted my client head up to make sure that he was in the upright position when I'm doing his edge up. You pretty much want to keep your client like this the entire time. But especially when it comes down to edge up, they head have to be level and in a position that they would normally sit in because the edge up is going to shape to however their head is. If his head was leaning down, I would have no choice but to do like a McDonald's style edge up. And you don't want that. You want to keep it natural as possible to their head in the normal position that it would be in. So that's exactly what I did. Came through with my Babylon's FX trimmers. Hit the edge up at the lightest spot possible. That way we can keep it all the way natural. If we need to dig into it more to make it sharp, we'll do that at the end. But like I said, do your detail touches at the very, very end. So I'm not gonna do that until I complete the other side. Then I can take a look at both of them and decide if I need to lift one side up, if I need to do any type of adjustments because you're not gonna get an edge up right on the first time. I don't care how cold you think you are, you will never get an edge up right on the very first try. But now we're gonna go ahead and jump right to the other side. Make sure the hair is combed all the way out. We're going to touch that line just a little bit. It probably was bothering me when I did the video, so I went ahead and touched it. But like I said, normally I would wait to the end. But for some reason, I started edging it up. I can't remember. But I'm going to come back through, and I'm going to use the exact same method. Lever open. Knock out that line with our lever closed. Hit it with the one guard. Come back through, clean it up with our half guard. Then we're going to detail touch. Leave the back part of the fade dark so it can come around the ear. And you also want to leave the front of the fade dark. That way you have enough room to leave some hair for an edge up. You don't want to bald out the entire vertical bar and have to spray his edge up all the way in. You want to have some of a natural edge up because we are going to add enhancements at the end. So as you see right there, it kind of looked funny behind the ear because we left that hair. But that's going to be perfect at the end. Whenever we do this blend and we come back through, we're going to hit that spot with a half guard in order to blend it in. That's typically the guard I would use when I'm blending in this part. But as you can see, I kind of hit it, you know, with the one. It's nothing wrong with using a bigger guard. That's another tip I want to give out. If you think that you want to use a half guard on a certain spot to detail touch it, hit it with a one guard close first just to make sure. You will never go wrong using a bigger guard. But if it was the other way around, then you're in trouble. And notice how I'm always, always combing the hair almost exactly you know right after i hit the hair with the the clippers look at my hand comb hit it with the clipper comb this is very important especially when it comes down to black hair you got to keep it intact because as soon as you flick up the hair is moving up and unlike straight hair it's not going to come back to a normal position especially with him growing his hair out it's going to try to stay in whatever position we put it in because i did spray his hair with holding spray so it is a little stiff right now that also plays a big part in keeping the hair exactly where you want it so if you need some good holding spray, you know, go to www.tapersauce.com, you know, order you some holding spray, some mousse enhancements, pretty much every product you see me using, you can find on tapersauce.com. Just had to throw in a quick commercial break as I do some detail work. As you see, the fade is coming along. We blended it all the way up and you see me do it again right there. Lifted his head up to make sure, even though I'm not doing the edge up, I want to hold his head up in the position that it would be when doing this fade. Because you're not only just fading the client's hair, you know, you got to step back and look and make sure it look right. So that's what I'm doing right there. I scoot the camera back and I'm making sure that the fade is looking exactly how I want it to look. So now that we got that side blended how we want it to blend, we're going to go ahead and get ready to finish his lineup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to that left side and I'm going to start over there and bring the line across. Now, as you see right there in the middle, my client has a natural, I'm not going to say pointy edge up, but he has a natural arc. Like if his hair just grow in, the middle section of his hair is going to outgrow the sides. So that's why he has that natural arc. Now you have two options when it comes to that. You can either start at the corners and come straight across the arc, but then it's going to have mean grow back. You know, you might have a nice boxy look, but then you're going to have mean grow back. 
or you can keep it all the way natural start at one side come all the way across and just you know edge it as best as you can but also keeping it natural right i'm not saying his hair is going to have an arc after i edge it up but we are going to make sure it still has that natural look because some clients you'd be surprised i have a lot of clients who know that they have light spots they know that they have an arc and they rather you keep it natural than try to cut it you know in a certain way to make it just look you know instagram style you know every client don't want an instagram style haircut and whenever i say an instagram haircut that's the haircuts you see on your explore page as it's sprayed up the nice boxy edge up everybody head not shaped like that that don't fit everybody's head not saying the edge up won't be straight because this one's gonna be straight as fuck but it's just not you feel me the just uh uh box it's gonna shape to his head exactly how it need to be so that's exactly what i did i came through brought that line all the way around came back to the other side as you see right there holding his head up in the position that it would be in and it paid off from leaving that hair as you can see whenever i hit the hair with the trimmers it's like creating a line you would think that the trimmers are dropping hair on his head but you really just you know removing all the hair from in front of that line and making it show up more and that's exactly what an edge up is you're not necessarily making a line you're removing the hair in front and due to the clippers being so sharp it's leaving a crispy line behind so that's why i say it looked like you just dropping off hair at the edge of line but don't mind me that's just one of my analogies that i put in my head so we're gonna pretty much you know double check make sure that the edge up is looking how i need to look as you can see we're gonna come back through and touch that middle section i was telling you about so pretty much what i'm doing now i'm just spinning them side to side taking a look at each angle making sure the fades are even making sure my edge up look even and natural combing the hair making sure that if i comb it one way it'll still look faded you know it'll still have a true fade to it once we get that down then that's when we're gonna add all the finishing touches to make it instagram ready you know the enhancements the pencil so like i said we got our taper sauce enhancement along with the taper sauce enhancement card got our airbrush ready to go give it a little test spray what you want to do you want to go ahead and take the card place it in front of the lineup and you're just going to spray the ink behind the hair you don't want to spray it in front and try to create another line all you're doing is spraying it behind it to create more of a contrast to have it darker so we're going to do that all the way across place our card spray it one thing about me i try not to spray too much enhancements like i like my haircuts to look you know nice and sharp with the enhance but i don't like it to where if he walk out the barbershop somebody can tell from across the street that he got enhancements you feel me that's not necessarily the look i go for now some clients i have clients who like that look they want the enhancement sprayed on heavy me initially off rip if they don't make any other you know special requests i'm gonna spray it natural i say natural but i'm gonna spray it light as possible trying to keep it natural so that's exactly what i'm doing right here another part that you want to make sure that you do after you enhance it come back through with your trimmers and you know remove all the extra hair and then right there you can spray it in to create more of a contrast on the fade this is also blending the enhancements in because if it's just dark along the lineup that's gonna give it that action figure you know painted look but then whenever you hit the fade with a little bit of enhance too that's gonna make it blend all the way through so that way you know it's not really just a stop in the enhancement so you want your fade to go all the way through you want your enhancement to go all the way through so now what i'm doing right here retouching the enhancement all the way across making sure i give that middle some love because like i said you know it sounds like i'm on my client ass about it but i'm really not i'm just making sure y'all understand so whenever you're looking at this video and you see me touching that side or touching that middle as many times as i'm doing you know you'll know okay that's why he doing that so like i said we still hitting it with the detailed touch coming all the way across making sure so whenever you hit your your lineup with the trimmers after the enhancement you're removing any ink you know that's still on there and that's one thing i like about the taper sauce ink is that you can remove some after you spray it some ink is like as soon as it hit the skin it's stuck if you mess up you mess up but with the taper sauce you know it's still gonna last but you can also adjust it that's one of the best things about it so whenever you order your sauce you know keep that in mind now right here we pretty much we coming back through just getting our camera angles ready you know i'm gonna show y'all some more videos on that later on how i do my instagram pictures how i do my post you probably seen an instagram post you know with this haircut if that's what led you to this video so that's what i'm doing now making sure my client is a little bit lower than me as i record the video like i said i got a lot of tips when it come down to taking the videos that i can you know show y'all in later videos that's one i can tell you right now make sure the client is a little bit lower than you 
when recording the video so that way you have that bird's eye view angle you know when it come down to recording but we'll talk about that you know in later videos to come and here go pretty much the end process he didn't want to see the mirror as y'all seen at the beginning what i'm gonna do go ahead and take off the neck strip make sure all the hair is dusted off the neck if i was to do the facial hair this time i would have did the same thing make sure it was touched up but he did it himself we hit him with a little bit of aftershave at the end so you know getting the ingrown hairs um go ahead order your taper sauce if you want to use the enhancements i use stay tuned for the next video and uh yeah